Coca-Cola, open it up, and then put it in a beaker. Whole half a liter. And then we're going to get pool chlorine and put it right inside of the beaker. See what happens. Let's wait a second till the reaction starts off. Whoa! Did you see that vibration? Woo! Holy crap! What is going on? Damn, look at that! So crazy! It took a minute for the reaction to start and then boom! Beautiful, don't you think? Kids, please do not try this at home. We're going to do this one more time. I still have a little of Coca-Cola. Gonna distribute it. Okay, let's put some pool chlorine. See what happens. Man, it's my whoa, look at that. So awesome. Woo! This is so epic. Again, please do not try this at home. So I got the beaker with the chains inside of it. I got the end and what I'm gonna do is drop it out of the beaker and let's see what happens. Oh, fail. So I'm much higher now. Let's check this out. How it's gonna look on much higher elevation. Look at this. How cool is that? Why does that do that? Please let me know in comments below. Pretty awesome. To make this chain fountain work, you gotta place it carefully. The higher you're gonna stand, the better fun chain fountain that you're going to get. Okay, let's try this one more time. Whoa, oh my gosh, look at that. So cool. Wow, that was the best one got here a lot more sodium metal and of course it's sitting not in water it's in oil mineral oil so that's why it does not explode so I've done this before with the smaller piece so let's do this again but with a bigger piece okay I got another piece much bigger piece let's see what happens Wow, did you see this? That was sick. Got here a big piece over here. All right guys, this time I'm gonna throw a big chunk and run far, far away. You see, it gets on fire, some of them. This time I'm gonna throw the whole jar in there and see what happens. smoke what I got here is three tubes like that and you see there's a little nozzle that close off all the oxygen coming in or out same thing on the other one and this one is just connects them together so let's see what we're gonna do with this this little nozzle right now in the open position we're gonna blow it up first <sighs> man go pass out so we blow up the balloon just like that and now we're gonna blow up different balloon. 
This one is going to be a little bit smaller than this one. Now we're going to connect these two balloons right here. So as you can see, these two balloons connected to each other. What will happen once I open this wall? Will all the air travel to this balloon and fills up to the same size as this one and stop? Or will it completely take all the air here? What will happen? Well, one way to find out. Once we release it, check this out, what happening. Actually, all the air coming from this balloon into this balloon. How does this happen? Pretty cool experiment, isn't it? Why does this happen? I really thought all the air will come from the, this balloon to this one because I thought this balloon had more air, so it, it had a little bit more pressure. So I thought it would take all the air into this smaller balloon. Okay guys, let's do this one more time. This is a smaller balloon. As you can see, this one is bigger. I would assume all the oxygen will go and inflate this balloon and it would stop once they're the same size. But apparently that's not what happens. The smaller balloon deflates and inflating this balloon. Please let me know in comments below why. Is a purple alcohol rocket engine. So I got this nine gallon giant jug or bottle, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to experiment with 70% alcohol and 95% alcohol and see which one is burned faster. See how it's going to look in this whoosh bottle and we'll see the difference. Let's get to it. First, we're going to be using 70% alcohol, is a purple alcohol. We're gonna pour quite a bit because this is a big bottle. Next, I'm going to roll it so get that alcohol mixed up into the sides of the bottle. Then we're gonna shut off the lights and light it up. Then I got here much and I'm gonna drop it inside of it and let's see what happens. Nothing. Wow, do you see how slow it burned? I need more alcohol in there. 70% is a purple alcohol. Let's go and wipe it off if I spilled anything on the bottle. Then what I'm gonna do is just mix it. And now let's see what happens. Wow! Did you see that? That was insane! A giant bottle! Loved it! Okay, let's do this one more time. Wow, did you see that? Now, let's do the same thing with the 95% alcohol and see the difference. So I got here 95% drabbing alcohol. Pour it inside of it. Now I'm just gonna mix it up. I might have put a little bit too much, but it's big bottle. I don't wanna have it not enough. Let's turn off the lights and do, do the same thing. Okay, let's see what happens. Whoa! Whoa! Did you see how fast it burned too? Awesome! Now let's put it side by side and see the difference. Wow! For this experiment we're going to need beaker, aluminum foil balls, balloons, water and the main ingredient pipe cleaner mr muscle what language is that i got this from internet let me know in comments below i'm gonna open this up then i'm gonna pour a little bit of mr muscle in the beaker then i'm going to put few aluminum balls in there then we're going to add warm water in there just like this. So I got here a much smaller balloon. Let's put it on and see what happens. Yeah, it's filling up much faster. As you can see, it's filling up slowly. You see how it's bubbling, but it's not bubbling too much. So we don't want that liquid inside of the balloon 
and get it all messy. So we definitely want to fill it up slowly, just like that. Gonna wait another five minutes, hopefully it will fill up a lot more. This balloon looks pretty big, see if it works. I'm gonna twist the balloon so gas doesn't come out. And I'm gonna take, off, take it off. And then I'm gonna make a knot over here to keep all the gas inside of it. Boom, let's test it, see if it flies. Yeah, success, check this out. Now I'm gonna get a strain or something and wrap it around and make a knot. So check this out, now we got a flying balloon. Pretty awesome, huh? So what do you guys think? Pretty awesome experiment. Flying balloon filled with hydrogen gas. The reason they use helium instead of hydrogen because hydrogen is a lot more flammable, but helium flammable as well. So don't set any fire near helium balloons either. They're gonna get on fire as well. But this one a lot more fa flammable. This is why they don't use them to fill up a bunch of hydrogen balloons to keep them in the house for decoration. It's just not a good idea. Please don't don't do this but it's a cool experiment that's for sure so now i'm gonna let it go and see what happens all right boom and you see it's flying really 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 easily oops it's gonna hit the tree oh no it's stuck on a tree no it got out from a tree so as you can see this this balloon is definitely floats just like a helium balloon, it's fly, fly far away. Let's see what happens if I'm gonna light up with this paper. It's burned super, super quickly. Now I'm gonna grab the same piece of paper towel and put it inside of a strainer like this. You see? Boom. Now what I'm gonna do is grab a lighter and Put the flame run right under the pieces of paper, but inside of the strainer. Look, they just do not get on fire. How cool is that? So as you can see, all that paper towel will right on the bottom right there. And I'm gonna grab a lighter. Look at this. This paper does not want to get on fire. Please let me know in comments below why. It's smoking, but it's not burning. How crazy is that? It's smoking because this little piece of metal is so hot now that it's like starting to kind of burn it but it does not get on fire. So now the question is why does this do this? Why does the paper just does not get on fire like it would without the strainer? You see how easy it is gets on fire? So the answer is actually pretty simple because the strainer is metal, it's absorbed all the heat, that's why it's protecting the paper from burning up. It's very simple, very cheap and very cool experiment. But kids do not play with matches, ask for adult supervision. So first we're gonna get black iron oxide and add one tablespoon. Just like this. Then two tablespoon of liquid starch. I'm wearing gloves because I don't want to get it messy. Then I want to mix it all up. Just like this. Then we're going to have two tablespoons of white glue. One and two. Then again I'm going to mix it all up a little bit. Once it's become like a ball, like this sticking together, you can pull it out. Boom. And I wanna keep mixing it and you see how it's just dirty at first in your hands. So that's why I wanna have gloves. So I'm gonna keep mixing it till it's dry. You can use a paper towel to dry it off faster so it doesn't make your hands dirty anymore. Then I'm gonna get a few magnets and put it inside of the tube, like a test tube. Once the slime dries out, you see it doesn't dirty my hands anymore. But at the same time, it's very, very slimy. Check this out. I can pull it up like this. 
Look at this. Looks awesome. But it's still a little weight. But it's still a little weight. But it's still a little wet. So you want to dry it out a little bit longer. That way it completely does not uh, make your hands black at all. But you see this slime is really good. It stretches easily. It's small. It molds back together easily. So now I got my new audio magnets in a beaker and let's see what happens. How cool is that? It's moving towards the magnet. Look how cool it is. Wow. I'm gonna grab a piece of new audio magnets like this and drop it inside of it. Whoa! Do you see how fast it ate it? And look how awesome and stretchy this slime is. I love this slime a lot. Now I'm gonna get a small piece of new audio magnet and drop it in here. Boom! Do you see how fast it got eaten? Pretty amazing. I'm gonna get test tube and boom. Boom! Do you see how fast it swallowed it? Wow! So we got here new audio magnets and there's the little plate right here. We set it like that and then and then we're going to get our bolt and set it down like that. Man, those new audio magnets are so stoned. Do you see how fast they pulled it in? And here's a fair fluid in this bottle. We're gonna open this up. Now we're gonna get fair fluid and drop it right on this bolt. Wow, look look what happening. This is so sick. Wow. How cool is that? Now let's touch it. Look what happens. Look how amazing it is. It just spins. All these little spikes. Wow. Check this out from this angle. Amazing, isn't it? Let's put some more. Wow. How cool is that? This is insane. Then I'm going to put the fluid over here too. Beautiful. This is most amazing science experiment for sure. Look at this. Wow. This experiment is amazing, but don't do this experiment over your carpet because if you're gonna stain your carpet, you're never gonna get it off. Look how cool it is, wow. Let's pour some more. It's just going. It's so cool. I'll pour a little bit more. Oh, too much. Beautiful. So I got my bubble wrap, a big kind, so it looks better. I'm gonna stick it in a jar, in a vacuum chamber. Boom, just like this. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now let's turn it on and let's see what happens. Oh my God, look at it. Woo, this is awesome. They all pop. Okay, let's get the air in. And see what happened. Look at it. Almost all of them popped. Whoa, that was so cool. Check this out. What happened? Actually, wow. all the air coming from Did this you balloon see that? into this balloon. That was insane. How does this happen? A giant. 